I watched that Plandemic video, that Plandemic interview the other day, because just tons and tons of people have been saying, you gotta see this, you gotta see this, I can't believe it, I can't believe it. And I watched it and immediately I thought, oh my goodness, what does that mean for how you should approach your financial life? How do you invest if that's true? How do you handle your financial decisions if something like that is true? I'm gonna tell you that today. Thanks for being here. This is today's Next Wise Step video. My name is Mike Bernard. I am the host of the Wise Money Show. I'm also one of the certified financial planners and owners here at Corhorn Financial Group. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Thanks for being here. Hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, smash that thumbs up button, and share this because this pandemic video, pandemic, has been just catching fire on the internet. Everyone's talking about it, and so, so for real. I had someone share it with me. I had several people share it with me. I'm like, I don't know what that is. The very next day, tons more people shared it with me. I watched it, okay? And I start thinking, okay, is this true and so on? And I immediately went to, what's this mean for your financial life? So if you haven't seen it, no spoiler alerts here. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spoil it, but basically it's an interview where someone, um, someone named Dr. Judy Mitkovich um, is apparently what was a was a past researcher or colleague of Dr. Dr. Fauci way back in the 90s and did some vaccine uh, apparently maybe not vaccine research but um, some other testing and laboratory work and essentially this is an interview that's sort of a tell-all conspiracy about what could really be going on and what has gone on in the past. Um, so I would encourage you to watch it but to me, if these claims are true or any, or any part of them, I, I've found that some of these contain half truths. And if, they, if depending on what halves are true, um, what, does, what could this mean for investing? Now, I'll get into that. But very first thing is I'm not a doctor. I'm not a medical practitioner and um, I'm a financial advisor and, and certified financial planner, all sorts of licenses and everything else. Um, so I can't speak to the validity of her claims, all right? But I have done some research because essentially, essentially, I don't trust anyone. Basically, every article that I read or every video that I watch, I, is, I say that's an opinion. That's someone's opinion. Now, does, is that coming from a credible source? What might their, their motives be? And can I find other credible sources that share the same opinion and have research? So honestly, even the local news, um, anything that I see on Facebook, anything that I see um, from any news outlet, outlet, left or right or center, I look and say, ah, that's an opinion. And then I look for data or other uh, corroborating evidence. And so, I don't know, I haven't done a lot of that here. I, I think there's some pretty big claims that she makes. Um, and the video is sort of sensationalized and dramatized. And so I started looking around and I, I actually saw uh, a, several doctors posting YouTube videos, um, actual MDs, not PhDs, like, sh like she is, MDs saying it's crazy, Th this is crazy. I don't know. Uh, the, the one just, just to, to help you, the one that I found really, really interesting was actually a two-part series by Dr. Galvin um, from uh, Vitality Medical and Wellness Institute, some, something like that. We're gonna link it below so you can check that video out just in case. So I, I think the first is, okay, I wouldn't take, if you watch Plandemic, which I'd encourage you to do, I wouldn't take it as, as gospel, I wouldn't take it as, as exact truth. In fact, I'd probably watch it with a little suspicion, but if it's half truth, which parts are, which half is true? So what could this mean for your financial life? Well, I truly looked at this and said, well, if any of these conspiracy theories are true and we are researching this and it's found out to be true, the first thing that I think of is this is going to create uncertainty around a lot of things that we're, we feel pretty confident in right now. Specifically, it creates uncertainty about what path and direction we're on with this whole coronavirus crisis that obviously leads to the financial crisis. So if there's any truth to that, here are the first things that I thought of with your financial life. Number one, is it decisionable? Is your financial life decisionable? What I mean by that is, do you have an overall and updated financial inventory? I know how much I have in cash, I know how much I have for investments, I know how much debt, I know all my assets and so on. So I have a clear picture. If something changes on a dime, I can quickly look and say, here's where I'm at, therefore I should do this. Here's where I'm at, connect with my certified financial planner. Okay, this is now the course I need to take. So is your financial life 
decisionable, and that is, do you have a full updated financial inventory? We use a system called Wealth Vision, where, um, at least for me, but for all the clients and folks that we serve, every bank account, every, um, every liability, every investment, 529, all that sort of stuff, it's all inventoried in one system where we can see updated balances at a moment's notice and make decisions when life throws us curveballs. So that's the second thing that I would tell you to do. If you are throwing a curveball, are you financially ready? Or are you as ready as possible? What can you do to get more ready if there's a financial curveball that's thrown your way? And you might hear me say that and say, Mike, okay, you are crazy. I'm unsubscribing. If we already got a curveball, how are they gonna throw another one? I, I don't know. I, I think Wall Street in particular is expecting that the coronavirus crisis is gonna be past us very quickly, or they're expecting that the Fed's just gonna continue to inject our veins with stimulus and we're gonna be fine. Um, but if, if there's any big cloud of uncertainty that's thrown in the middle of those expectations, then we might have a, a, a it might be a long haul here. So are you ready? If you've looked and said, well, I've made it thus far through these changes, so I'm fine. Well, what if there's another change or another change, another change? Are you prepared for more crisis, longer crisis, or a different, a different crisis is the second question I'd have you ask. The third, if this pandemic and what Dr. Uh, Mitkovich, if I'm saying that right, is, is claiming, if any part of it turns out to be true, I think it shakes the markets. I, I do because it probably means we are going to be getting um, dealing with this coronavirus issue in the economy where things don't fully open up until there's a vaccine and probably till after that always. Um, the market's going to like that news, but it might not be steadily going um, permanently going higher for a long period of time. And if that's the case, you're, how do you invest during that? You've got to be diversified. It's got to be connected to your goals and you should have a momentum strategy. I'm gonna say that again, you've gotta be diversified because trying to play this thing, the wind could change very, very quickly. So you gotta be diversified. Second, you, you're investing for a reason. If those reasons are still a long way off, great. But if they're in the near term or they're in the short, like the short term or the intermediate term, like you've gotta be aware of that and make sure you're investing, um, your investments are structured appropriately for the reasons you're investing for, for those goals. And then finally, I mean, you, you need a momentum strategy. You need to have a discipline that can um, overweight and underweight to certain areas, not for market timing, but because when we're seeing crisis, it sort of impacts all investments at the same time. It's sort of, you may have heard this terminology, risk on or risk off. When we're risk on, you wanna be very directly in growth type investments. When it's risk off, you can't have anything. No one wants even like gold or bonds. They're all going down because no one wants anything. I don't know if that's the world that we're gonna be living in for a while, but if you watch Plandemic and thought even part of that could be true, then guys, we might see another risk off type of moment at some point. So, um, so is your financial life decisionable? Are you ready for a longer crisis or more crisis? And are your investments diversified, structured for your goals, and do you have a momentum strategy? That's the very, very, very first thing that I thought of as I watched Plandemic and said, what in the world? What if any of this is true? So check out the Plandemic video. Check out what doctors are saying. Look for other opinion sources to say, is this validated or not? But, uh, but my specialty is in finance. So you gotta look at, well, how does this apply to the financial decisions you need to make? Working with your certified financial planner, they're your coach, they're in your corner, they know all areas of your financial life and they're a fiduciary to say, all right, here's what you should do, do nothing, do this, do that, all right? If you don't have a certified financial planner, we can't serve everyone, but you can certainly reach out to our firm. Uh, I've got a team of CFPs that, that we work with here, um, willing to work and able to work with someone here in locally in Indiana or wherever you're at in the world. So reach out to us, you can find us online, corehorn.com, that's corehorn with a K. Send us an email, info at corehorn.com, or you can call or text 574 247 5898. All right, tomorrow right here on this channel, we've got a full episode of the Wise Money Show. Sunday we're off. I'll be back to you on Monday with another next wise step, but you're ready. Go out and take your next wise step in your financial life.